Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hello again, and welcome to another time when we will spend in God's Word just sharing true stories so that you can understand. Let's have prayer before we begin. Father in heaven, again we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your Word and we pray that you would please bless us as we just listen and learn from you today. In Jesus' name, amen. We stopped with talking about the final straw that had been broken. Some people know the term, and maybe your parents know the term, the straw that broke the camel's back. The very first thing that took place, we said, was God called all the angels together along with Lucifer to express and explain who Jesus really was. We said that at that time, all the angelic beings bowed down and worshiped with gladness and sung with the most beautiful praise to God, songs of joy and adoration when they were introduced to the Son of God, Jesus Christ. We said that Lucifer bowed down as well. But when he bowed down, there was a strange conflict that went on. Truth, justice, and loyalty was in a fierce war with envy and jealousy. Lucifer knew that he was wrong, and as he contemplated it, he decided, instead of apologizing, to press on with pride and covetousness. We said that he went on to lie to the angels, and the loyal angels tried to convince these angels who were following Lucifer, and the first lie was that God was not as powerful as him or God would have done something about it by now. The second lie was that his government would be a government free from laws and that everyone will be happier under his rule and there won't be any restrictions. And bear in mind, none of the angels felt restricted up until this point. They were all completely happy and completely satisfied with all the joy and principles of heaven. And number three, when they were ready to turn, Lucifer told them it was too late. It was indeed too late for Lucifer, but remember, it wasn't too late for these angels. And loyal angels were pleading and pleading and pleading. And let me stop right here before we go to what happened next. And let me tell you that often when you commit a sin and the Holy Spirit whispers to you, turn to God. Turn to God. Call upon God right now, and He will save you. He will forgive you. Just turn to God. You'll hear the voice of darkness telling you, it's too late. You're too bad. What you did this time was very terrible. Don't listen to that voice. Listen to the voice of God and turn to God. For these fallen angels, listen to that voice. And do you know what took place next? The Bible describes it in Revelation chapter 12. The Bible says that there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought, and the dragon fought and his angels, and their place was found no more in heaven. Look at that. Make sure mommy or daddy or someone, or even you read it yourself in Revelation chapter 12. It says very clearly in Revelation chapter 12, it says that there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought. And at the end of this fight, Satan and all his angels were kicked out of heaven. A place that had been perfect, a place that had been beautiful. And now they were put out. Not because of God's hatred or God's dislike or God's anger, but God allowed them to have what they chose. They chose to follow under the banner of Lucifer, but they did not consider that in following Lucifer, that meant that there was no inheritance. For Lucifer didn't own anything. Lucifer didn't create any worlds. Lucifer 
only was a created being who had been given everything from God. So God gave them what they wanted. And he took Lucifer and all the unloyal angels who chose not to be with him and gave them their own world. And that world was a dark, void, desolate place. It was nothing. And you need to understand something, young people. Without God, there is nothing. And we see that after this war in heaven. Without God, there's nothing. And so here it is, a void, desolate place, a place of nothing, where Lucifer and all the angels who chose to follow him were simply dwelling in a desolate, void space of empty nothing. It was so desolate that there was no light. There was nothing there. There is nothing, young people, outside of Christ. It broke the heart of God to have to follow through with this, but it was the design, the designated design of God when he created Lucifer, the first created being, when he created all the other angels, when he created all the other worlds, to have a government that would be built on free moral choice. In other words, where no one will be forced to love, no one will be forced to like something, no one will be dictated to or act as though they were robots. Everybody was able to live by choice. And whenever you set up a government where choice is the ruling force, then the difficulty of someone choosing wrong can come up. And Lucifer chose wrong. It didn't mean he was put out of heaven because of that wrong choice. God labored with him and God pleaded with him and God did everything in his power to convince him that he was a happy created being, that his position was a position of happiness and that there was nothing better. It was not until after Lucifer was kicked out into this desolate void place, this place where there was nothing but dark space, the, 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 the unfallen angels at that time understood that they had chosen the wrong king, the wrong master. They chose a king that had nothing to give them, that had no place for them to occupy, that had nothing but misery. But now it was too late because they had gone too far. And we talked about how when you go too far, then your decision to change is you're changing because you recognize what you have missed and what you have lost. You're not changing because you're recognizing that you love God. Their love and loyalty to God hadn't changed because of this dark, desolate place. Now they saw that they had chosen the wrong God, the wrong leader. A prophetess was in vision one day, and she saw that when Lucifer noticed what he had lost, that he asked an angel that he saw fly by to come. And when he called this angel, the angel came and said, yes, what is it that you want? Satan, because now he had lost the name Lucifer. He was never to be called the light bearer anymore. He was called Satan. And by the way, Satan means adversary. One who withstands. And an adversary is one who is constantly opposing and fighting against something. So he lost the name Light Bearer when he was kicked out of heaven. And he got the, gained the name Adversatan, which means one who withstands because he tried to withstand and go against God. And Satan had been pondering what he had lost. And with his head down, and in a sad countenance, he told the angel, would you please go and get Jesus? Go and get Jesus. And the angel left and went and got Jesus. And Jesus came and said, what is it? Because Jesus never stops loving anyone. God is love. And Lucifer said, I'm sorry. Please, can I come back to heaven? I'll take my old position back, he said. Please. But he didn't realize how far he had gone. He didn't realize 
that even if he was restored back to that position, it would take force to cause him to have a pure, loving heart. That he had opposed God to the point where his heart became hardened, his mind became fixed or sealed against the government of God. And it said that Jesus wept at his woe. He could not let him come back. Little children, let's never go too far. The moment you know that you have done wrong, turn to God, cry out to him. And God's promise is, if we confess our sins, he, Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but we must turn to God and never forget there is a point where stubbornness can cause us to go too far. But at this point, remember, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Remember, until we come back to pick up on the great story of what happened after Satan wanted to come back but couldn't. Remember, be like Jesus. Love everyone.